Hello, hello. Hi guys. Happy Monday. Trust that all is well with everyone. That your weekend was a relaxing one, refueling one, and so you're back out first Monday in June and you are charged, ready to go. Your batteries are fully charged. You have your extra battery in your bag so that just in case you could pop it in and you could boost yourself again by the middle of the week. So I'm hoping that all is well with everyone. I'm hoping that you all are excited about this new month. Um, I know for me, I have to keep reminding myself in the month of me. Come, Melina, recover your me. <laughs> recover your me. Come, 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 reset, refuel. <laughs> come and recover your me. Pull all the hold on to the reins and, and pull, pull me in. Because me, me went like on several like several occasions just real major dips and you just had to tell us all right come come <laughs> we can still make it work we can still make it work come 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 recover me recover me i'm hoping that if you had such a month um last month and you're now into june i hope you're excited about june i hope you're bursting with energy can't wait to see what god has in store for you this month for the rest of the year, you're charged, you're ready to go, and you're not allowing what took place before to restrain you, box you in, keep you, I guess, fearful and timid, pursuing the things that you have to pursue this month. I remember telling some of the boys in youth group, and even my son, Makaya, because they had exams um, going on, and some of them complained. I remember one, one of my prints said to me, um, the questions that come in our exam was real out of timing. <laughs> so I messaged him back and I said, pretend you have a shovel, dig deep and throw it behind you and keep keep on moving, keep pressing because we have more challenges to overcome. You have other exams, let me not focus on what has already gone. So like I told my young boys, my my fellas, my young my prince, my princes, uh, throw me behind unless um forge ahead let's keep looking forward i listened to a reel the other day and this woman was talking about um there's several women in the bible um but the one that god gave us a warning to remember was lot's wife and she was emphasizing emphasizing on the fact that god highlighted her because she was the one who looked back so let's not look back on me and think oh may was this or may was that but let's look ahead and work towards accomplishing our goals, accomplishing God's purpose, plans for our lives, making moves to do the things that he would have for us to do, creating opportunities so that in our, our daily lives, me sharing here on this devotional, your opportunities on your job, I've started saying that my business is a vehicle for God to to present himself a vehicle for him to be presented a vehicle for the word of god to be shared a vehicle for lives to be touched ministered to impacted and influenced so i'm praying that you put strategic plans in place so that you could have a very intentional month accomplishing those things that you have prepared to do prayerfully seeking god's face as to what moves to make how to as reading in Ecclesiastes that spoke about um, two verses that spoke about doing thing in a proper procedure and a proper time. So I pray that you put the procedures in place and that you pray and ask God's wisdom in terms of the timing for whatever plans that you have had listed in your to-do list to accomplish this month and for the rest of the year. Two weeks ago, I know um, you probably would have been looking for my Monday devotional. My 14-year-old producer, um, not throwing him under the bus here at all because we all make, all are susceptible to be making mistakes. He thought he posted the um, video, but it was still on private instead of to make public. And so when I was going to look back over and to listen over the video, I was like, When you go on and they upload it, but in private. So my apologies on behalf of myself and my son <laughs> for 
for not providing that uh, devotional at that point in time and it slipped me and asked me to mention it. So my apologies is not that we um well trying to be inconsistent and not um delivering what was promised in terms of having a devotional every Monday, but an error was made on our part. It was uh, kept private for just us apparently and uh, not made public. So you got it on the Friday instead of the Monday. Today, um, I know we've been speaking lately about just this whole disaster thing. We're not ready for today. Today's the last time. Today's the last. Today's the last last one. I'm hoping, <laughs> unless you don't say different. <laughs> I'm hoping that this is the last time we have any conversation concerning tsunamis, earthquakes, and volcanoes. So I know the first week, how much of a weeks ago, we spoke about the disasters and what they're supposed to do and what is recommended in terms of natural disasters. And then we talk about the aftermath. And then we talk about rebuilding. Today, I just want to talk a little bit about maintenance. So. Recently, a friend of mine, she sent a picture of something that I did with a filter on it marked high maintenance. And I, I, at first I thought it was something else that she was doing, um, not knowing that it was a filter. After that, during the week, um, I was praying and I was just praying about myself, bringing up my own topics before God concerning renovation and construction and deconstruction. I just praying it was my personal devotion with God and while praying the word maintenance came up and I, I just kept harping on the things that I want to maintain and things I needed help in maintaining and while praying I literally left the room <laughs> went grabbed my uh, trusty journal here and if you don't have one we still have a few left and I said, I feel like I just want to find the actual meaning of this word and to just pray it, continue praying it. So it's like I literally said, God, give me two minutes, I'll come on back. <laughs> so I went, got the meaning, wrote it down and listened to me. When I came back, I was like, okay, God, so this is what I really want when I say mention. <laughs> This is the wisdom that I need. This is the provision that I need. This is this is what I need, Lord. And so I just want to share share it with us because I think it would help. Um, having gone through whatever devastating struggle circumstance that we would have gone through, that God would have wanted us to persevere through, um, so that character could be built. And having gone through all that, realizing, okay, I've come out at the end of this and. I've lost a lot of things. A lot of things were broken. A lot of things were damaged. And all of the, 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 the disaster, and all of the natural disaster that take place, the earthquake tsunami, as I kept on saying, whatever you want to tell me was. After the hurricane, this is what I was left with. And now I have to rebuild. And now that I'm rebuilding, I'm realizing that I have to stay on the alert and I have to stay watchful and be mindful that these thoughts could come and that this could come and somebody could say something to try to throw me off while I am rebuilding. And so we are not rebuilding without a strategy. So we picking up our shovel and our hammer, but we are also picking up our sword, our sword and our spear to ward off the doubting debbies and to ward off thoughts of insecurity and to ward off thoughts of inferiority and to ward off low self-esteem and to ward off anything that is said. You'll never make it. You should do this instead of that. That's not making sense. That, uh, you really want to do that? I don't think that makes sense. You should do that to ward off all of that while we build. Having built, rebuilt. Having gone through therapy because this one was a tough one and I felt like I was going to lose my mind. I haven't gone to therapy or seek counseling because I really couldn't deal with what <laughs> was broken down and destroyed and all of this. And so I needed to talk to somebody. I needed healing. I needed restoration. I, my peace needed to be restored. My joy needed to be restored. And so you would have done the work and rebuilt a better version of yourself because having gone through this storm, you are no longer 
the same person. Nor do you want to be that person that you were before. Um, I certainly don't. I don't want to go back to the Molina of 2020 or the Molina of 2018 uh, or 2017. I so don't want to go back to there. I am so comfortable and at peace with the woman that God is evolving me into, that I'm leveling up to, that I am maturing into. By the grace of God, I do not want to return to her. <laughs> Thank you for the lessons. Thank you for taking me through to this point. I'm grateful. I celebrate you, but I'm real comfortable here and looking forward to her down the road. So haven't done all that. And we would have put new paint on our building. Um, we're walking about with more confidence. We're more sure of who we are in Christ. We're more determined, more focused, more deliberate in terms of the, the way we spend our time, the boundaries that we set and we've built and put in place, the people that we have around us, the sanitizing we would have done to clean out all the things that would have taken place or, or made where we were uncomfortable. So all the cleaning, all the refurbishing, all the renovation that would have done, would have taken place and we would have done. I haven't done all that. We need to maintain. And so to maintain means the process of preserving a condition or situation or the state of being preserved. The work needed to keep a road, a building, a machine in good condition. Um, I know we have child maintenance and it exists in some relationships where parents, whether it be father, mother or <laughs> parties have to, by law, provide the necessaries for the children. And so in the case of maintenance, it's, it's support, it's, fun, it's financial in terms of uh, child maintenance, is the upkeep for the children. So this is what, the, all of this is what maintenance, and like I said, is the, 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 the process of preserving the condition or situation or the state of being preserved. Um, I also took a note here, steps taken to avoid something from breaking down. The servicing and repairing and replacing of parts so that um, functional checks are done. On this particular machine, your mind, your heart, your soul, your spirit, yourself, your own house that you're living in, your car that you're driving, all of it requires maintenance. And I want to encourage us to ensure that we do maintenance on ourselves so that the 2023 version of yourself that you are building, that you are constructing at this point in time, your prayer that you are constructing, devotion that you're constructing before God, the, the, the characteristics of yourself that you're refurbishing, your personality traits that you're tweaking and you're, you're sanding down and you're making the necessary appraisals, accurate appraisals, the self-awareness that you're going, that you're stepping into, sitting into and allowing yourself to, the process of, of, of rebirth that has taken place, this new structure that you've built, you, it is necessary to do maintenance because like a house, if you don't check the windows, after rain beat up on it after a while, it will begin to rust. And if you don't make repair, your window will fall out. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Believe me when I tell you. Thank God the glass didn't break. <laughs> and so maintenance is necessary. If you don't do maintenance on your pipes, you'll begin to have leaks. And you'll find yourself leaking in, in times when it are real not convenient. In front of people that you're real don't want to be leaking in front of. Um, so... I just want to encourage us to make the necessary checks and balances to do the necessary repair, the necessary replacements. I was talking to our young ladies in youth group and I was telling them sometimes they just need to demote people. This is the inner circle here and these are the people in the outer circle. Sometimes some people here need to come here or further up because of where you are right now, where they are right now and, and 
where you see yourself. So sometimes you need to make adjustments, change some parts. When you're doing maintenance on your car, you have to change oil. Sometimes you have to change the filter. You have to change um, bolts and nuts and the brakes. As that car will do craziness while you're on the road. <laughs> shut down in places that you already don't want to shut down in. At times of the day that you don't want to be shut down, nowhere stranded. And so it is important for us to do maintenance. So my encouragement for us today is to make sure the doors swinging and the hinges not making noise. To make sure that the windows can actually close properly and they're not breaking down on us. So that we have to keep it closed and stay in the hot room because if we open it, the bottom nut, the bottom part rust out and the window might fall out. Or light bulbs might have to change because all the lights blow in the chandelier and if I turn it on, we will have no light. And so do the necessary replacements, do the necessary checks, do the necessary oiling and greasing to ensure that you are running and functioning and upkept properly so that you could, you could face should our next disaster come? God forbid, because sometimes it is just want to tell God, you know what? Time out! <laughs> I'm not playing this game anymore. I don't want to play. I don't want to play from on the bench. Sometimes it is just want to tell God, you know what? I don't, I don't want to play again. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> Can I just set this one out, please? So do the necessary maintenance that needs to be done so that you're, you're strong, so that when wind blow, <laughs> Your roof is secure because you've been checking, you've been checking for leaks, you've been checking to make sure all the screws tighten, all the bolts are tightened so that the wind can just lift up your roof and go with it. Should you come out, come under heavy winds again, make sure around your area is clear so that rodents not living. I really hate creepy crawlies. <laughs> Snakes not finding a haven in your yard because you ain't cut the bush in, in, in weeks the bush ain't cut roaches all of a sudden you find you just have real roaches coming into your house make sure you are maintaining your yard and I'm saying this figuratively but I'm talking about us personally your mind the thoughts that you think making sure that you're emotionally stable and so that if you're not well then I feel like I need to go and get some counseling and talk to somebody who will be able to help me because I feel like I just need to sort all the thoughts that are happening in my head right now and I, I just need somebody to help me to tighten the screws because I'm feeling like they're getting slack and I'm feeling like I'm overwhelmed with frustration and depression and and and, and confusion constantly and I'm and I feeling light always feeling this kind of heavy depressed kind of way do maintenance find somebody and sit down for an hour, hour and a half and tell them how you're feeling so that they can help you. Nothing is wrong in therapy with getting it. Um, we make this thing so taboo and you have people who are dealing with things that they're not supposed they shouldn't even be dealing with and they're walking around smiling and dying on the inside, shrivel up inside. Now you're not making no sense. All because we don't provide opportunities and spaces. Just like a car does go in the, the, the tire shop and change wheels and things. We don't provide opportunity and spaces. Listen to me. Comment in the chat in the in the in the um thing here. Hey Melina. Um guess what? <laughs> you might want to do it privately or you might want to, you know, message, hey, can I get your number? Because I really want to talk about this a little further. Nothing is wrong. It don't matter to be me. But just find somebody so that you're able to do maintenance up here so that your mental health is in an order. Maintenance here so that you're not carrying about resentment and unforgiveness or bitterness or, or hurt that would have been uh, you would have been inflicted on you due to no fault of yours. You know, just do the necessary maintenance. Like I say, you don't want snakes to be comfortable in your yard because it's overridden with bush. You don't want roaches and rats to come and kill you <laughs> in your own place because you're not maintaining so i'm just encouraging us today I want to really be short i know the last two was very long to go through the process yes the devastation took place you went through the storm and it was horrible and you came out and you looked and you realized it was devastating. The aftermath is horrible and so much took place, so much pain, so much hurt, so much destruction. 
and you begun to rebuild and to repair and to to make new i am just saying haven't built rebuilt or in the process of rebuilding just bear in mind that i need to maintain whatever i construct after this piece of tech maintain and make sure that you're constructing solid foundations the wood that you're using is good wood and nothing that termite could come and eat so rebuild but rebuild with with wisdom rebuild using it might take you a little longer but rebuild using the right material so that you're not in the same position with a, a blow from somebody mouth that you're able to stand up and hold up find yourself rooted that your foundation, your foundation is in Christ. That your roots are firmly situated in the Word of God, in the presence of God, in prayer. These are the things that you want to build with. You want to build with God, the author and finisher of your faith. The one who is able to construct, like my friend was saying recently, you know, God didn't just decide and he doesn't just... As you, as you go along, put a plan in place. He has a plan and has had a plan for your life. So build with that in mind. God, what's your purpose for my life? What is your having come out of this? What, what are your intentions? What are your plans? What are the, where, from here, what now? <laughs> Seek him and make sure that you are building with, with a solid, on a solid foundation and having built. Ensure that as you build, you're repairing and you're, you're maintaining and you're upkeeping the place and you're making sure that you're sweep and you're making sure that you're clean and you're sanitized just as you would do your house and you would mop from time to time just to maintain a clean space, a clean mind, clean thoughts, clean heart. So I'm just encouraging us today to do the necessary to maintain having as we've been going through this year of construction, deconstruction and renovation, ensure that you're doing the maintenance, the upkeep, you're, you're supporting, make sure the people that are around you are supporting the best version of you that when you come up short, they tell you, mm -mm, come from there, come up from there. That not, mm -mm, that's not you. So I am, I'm begging us that as we, we build that we, we are reminded this is our gentle reminder that maintenance is important i have to do maintenance so just as how companies and buildings as our maintenance crew that it is calling to come and paint and refurbish and clean and and do thing and have maintenance do maintenance here maintenance here do the necessary maintenance in a new relationship in order for it to succeed and to continue and to thrive maintenance is possible so when you neglect as a married couple you neglect spending time together you neglect the simple things just know decay is taking place depreciation will take place rust and stuff will come in rodents will make their way too because there's no maintenance the same with your children ensure that you maintain a healthy relationship with them maintain your friendships maintain your relationship with God. So like I said, I don't want this to be long. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Take care. The numbers are going back up. Please be safe, sanitize, social distance, and wear a mask. We're back to that. Have a safe week, guys. Love you all. Like, share, subscribe.